Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. Mary's and the second in our Advent concert series. And now we truly are in the season of Advent, as you can tell from the lit candle on our Advent wreath. A very warm welcome to all of you who have come to listen to music, to uh, celebrate and to uh, enjoy this preparation uh, season as we move towards Christmas and many other faith traditions are celebrating the changing of light and all sorts of things. And so uh, we are just really encouraged to have your presence here. Also, we're encouraged to have you supporting our charity partners. I guess I should tell you that my name is Craig Hebert and I'm the rector here and, uh, and very pleased to be there to be here. Uh, if you are viewing online or if you choose to make a donation towards the um, cause that we're supporting with this series, you can find a link on our website. You can see it on your screen. Uh, and uh, we're, again, very pleased to be able to support the work of Victoria Hospice Bereavement Services, who uh, have been working so valiantly for a long, long time. I wonder, if there, are there any people here who volunteer with, uh, with uh, Victoria Hospice? Has anybody here experienced uh, the, the benefits of Victoria Hospice and the services? So many of you have indeed. Uh, we're so grateful for all the work of all the volunteers and staff of Victoria Hospice, and so we're so grateful that your donations will all 100% be going towards the work of that organization. Uh, today, we are going to be hearing the songs of Christmas, and we are going to be hearing them through the voice and the flute and the piano of Marnie Setkamuni, who many of us have heard before, and also Diane Berry on flute, and Catherine Legro or Catherine the Great, as I was just told. I just, I love these French names. So Catherine Legro on piano. Would you please, with me, welcome our musicians as we listen for the sound of Christmas. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Um, as uh, Craig mentioned, the name of, title of our program today is The Sounds of Music. So you're going to see uh, that clearly we have a flautist or flutist, and we also have a pianist. So we have those two instruments and my instrument voice. Um, so we have a couple of different other instrumentations that you'll see, which will lend to the sounds of Christmas. And finally, um, the other sounds of Christmas around the world are, of course, different languages. So you will, of course, hear the English and French for living in Canada and all that, as well as some German and some Spanish. So thank you so much for being here today. We will start with another thing that is all about Christmas this time of year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So feel free to do a little dance in your seats there. Oh, 
Now we have a little gem that uh, Catherine actually found for us, our pianist. And I said to her the first time we sang through it, I said, oh, I feel like a Disney princess. It kind of has that, that feel, that sort of Disney, very melodic, that I think might make us smile a little bit of hearing many songs with that sort of catchy melody. Here's where the sounds of Christmas come in, and that we first time we will be singing in French, Les Anges du Campagne. Um, and it's almost a bit of a chamber piece, so please don't be offended if you see me turning a little bit towards the other musicians, where it's like, we're counting, 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 because it's a very interesting arrangement by a pianist called uh, Richard Walters. So here we go. You can count. 
with us. Should we give you the timing? <laughs> With one of our members of a trio being a composer, of course, which is Diane, our flautist, um, and she's arranged some of our pieces today, um, of course we have to do some chamber stuff, so thank you. We're back, we're back now, everyone facing forward. <laughs> Encore en français, un flambeau. Thank you. 
Now I get to sit down for a moment for a real treat for all of you with Jazzy Christmas Medley for flute and piano. Enjoy.
Isn't that a great piece? How many of you taking piano lessons, you know, when you first learned that, boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, that bass line, thought, oh, I know, I'll add all these other layers to it. I think it's a fantastic arrangement. Bravo, too. Can we give another round of applause to Diane and Catherine? Now here's the fun bit where we're going to switch and have our pianist, I mean piano is a percussion instrument, right? So she's going to do this arrangement with, uh, with drum and Diane arranged this uh, carol that many of you probably know already, Pataban. So it'll be piano, or sorry, not piano, drum, flute, voice.
Some of you may have noticed while we're getting ready for the next piece that um, two of us on the stage are new school and one of us is old school. And what I mean by that is, uh, I think there's a little bit of a debate going on. Does digital mean it's faster to get to the pieces than it is if you're using books and music that way? So uh, we'll see, we'll let you be the judge. So we're now, <laughs> we're now going to sing. I Wonders I Wander, two pieces of set by John Jacob Niles. You're looking at your program and you'll see it's what songs were sung is the next one. <laughs> Sorry. So I guess new school is better. <laughs> And this is what live music is all about, right? It's not AI, people. <laughs> We're not robots. I wonder as I watch. Jesus, the Savior, did come for to die. 
So we're going to um, shake things up, right? Yes, good. <laughs> shake things up a little bit with some Spanish carols before we wrap up our program. Um, you will notice that this next piece we're going to do is our shortest, Ya Viene La Vieja. There are two pieces that are Spanish, and both of them are in regards to uh, the story of the wise man. But isn't that interesting when you listen to these arrangements, how very differently um, the sounds that are portrayed in order to tell you the story in Spanish about the three wise men. Here we go. So do you remember earlier I mentioned, um, wouldn't we have had a lot more fun when we were fiddling around to the piano doing that bass line, that cool bass line of dotted rhythm? You're going to hear this in the piano this time, and what an interesting way that they put this together. It's very Spanish-y, for lack of it. Actually, it's from Puerto Rico, to be, to be precise. We're going to end this one with, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and at some point, you're going to see me do this. So translation, join us. But I might be in the middle of, I can't quite sing it and get in the words, join us. So if you see me doing this, that's your cue, okay? We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, 
and a happy new year. Good tidings to you, wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. And thank you for that wonderful, wonderful journey through the sounds of Christmas. Thank you, all three of you. And thank you, all of you, for bringing that energy of receiving this music and your singing at the end. It's perfect, isn't it? I'll just remind you, uh, if you have an opportunity, if you're view viewing online, to make a donation so that we can support our charity, uh, which is the Victoria Hospice Bereavement Services. And so uh, I'd also like to draw attention to the fact that our next concert is next week, one week from today, and it is The Christmas Story with uh, featuring the uh, uh, voice and violin of Agnes Stita and Kate Rhodes on violin and soprano as well, and Kurt Bergen on piano and organ. So we're looking forward to yet another treat next week. Uh, other things happening as we go forward, you'll see some of those notices in your leaflets and on our website. As always, thank you again for supporting music and for enjoying this and supporting community. So go gently today and have a very lovely week. Thank you again. Thank you.